Welcome to today's news report. In this section, we're going to talk about flora and fauna and how important it is to keep both safe. First, we want to talk about how important flora and fauna are for us humans to be alive. It is essential for us to take care of their environment and habitat. Talking about fauna, Mexico has at least 49 extinct species and 896 in danger of being as well extinct. Some of those species are Mexican axolotl, vaquita marina, Mexican gray wolf, scarlet maca, Mexican prairie dog, West Indian manatee, jaguars, bird taper, yellow-headed parrot, loggerhead sea turtle, volcano rabbit, and the ocelot. You may be wondering, what are we humans doing to prevent more animals from getting stiff? And here is an example. There are many organizations which were created with the purpose of helping animals and species in danger. One of them is the Wildlife Conservation Society. This conservatory is in charge of saving wildlife, wild places worldwide through science, conservation, action, education, and inspiring people to value nature and see its purpose. There are many organizations such as YSPA, World Society for the Protection of Animals, which also is meant to protect the world animal and plant species. In other local news, what is happening to Mexico with inequality? It is not new to anyone hearing every day about how women are being treated differently and abused since the beginning of the story. Yes, and sadly, Mexico is one of the OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, countries with the highest level of violence against women. In Mexico, 63% of women over the age of 15 state that they have been victims of some type of violence during their lives, and at least 10 women are, a day are murdered, making them victims of femicide. This being a total violation of the rights and not, the, not even the rights as women, but as human beings. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you have a great day and see you later. Hello, my name is Marce and I will ask questions to Eric and Emiliano about the Mexican culture and the famous places around Mexico. So Emiliano, do you know some of the most visited and famous places around Mexico? Uh, yes, the most visited places in Mexico are Chichen Itza, which is in Yucatan, Cancun, Riviera Maya, and Isla Mujeres, which are in Quintana Roo, Xochimilco, that is in Ciudad de México, Parque Xcaret, that is in Quintana Roo, Islas Marietas, that is in Nayarit, Catedral de Guadalajara, which is in Jalisco, Zócalo de Puebla, that is in Puebla, and Guanajuato, that is in Guanajuato. Okay, sounds good. And what do you know about news about the Mexican culture? For, for example, the most followed religion in Mexico. Oh, yes. In Mexico, most of the population is Catholic, with 82.7% of people consider themselves Catholic. Okay, interesting. And Erika, how about the music? Do you know some news or information about it? Well, the music and dance features heavily in Mexico culture. One of the most popular and representative Mexican music is mariachi. This type dates back to the 18th century and is well known and loved around the world. Traditionally, mariachi bands consist of musicians wearing charro, charro suits. Wow, it's been a long time since the existence of the Mexican music. But what about the food? The basis of the Mexican gastronomy began in the pre-Hispanic times with the cultivations of corn and the development of foods based on these ingredients. Tortillas, tamales, tracoyos, pozole, chocolate, atole are some examples of famous traditional foods. Nice. Can both of you tell me something about the traditions? Yes. Mexico is also known because of, of its traditions. A famous tradition in Mexico is El Día de los Muertos, this is a celebration which is celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. It is a Mexican celebration to honor the dead of people. An altar is made up of, up of many essential things such as candles, fruits, bread, and food that the, that the person that you're making the altar about light, such as drinks and things of their preference. Well, some weird illustrations are Mortito that consists of a male guest carrying the room in the air as a wink that alludes to being a trap in marriage. Another is the baile de billetes. That is a custom that serves to wish prosperity to the neolets, helping them financially. Another one is the vibra del mar. The married couple stand on two chairs at a distance. They will have to wait united by the hand or by the cauda of the lady's wedding dress. Interesting. One thing I know about Mexico that I think is really interesting also is about the language that is Spanish. I was, it was brought to Mexico in the 16th century by Spanish conquistadors. Different accents and varieties of the language exist in different parts of the country. That's right. These were some news and facts about the Mexican culture.
Um, good morning, people. Uh, in the newsletter from today, we have um, a Mexican boxer, a uh, famous sport here in Mexico, and we have an expert in military stuff. And um, well, what do you have to say? Hi, everybody. I'm El Canelo Alvarez, and it's an honor to be here. And first of all, I think that boxing is one of the most popular sports in Mexico, and it is one of the best sports in, in, in the whole world. Mexico has a real good story at this sport because it ha Me Mexico has a lot of great fighters and it's a sport that Mexico have supported a lot. I think that if it wouldn't be because of the support that this sport has in Mexico, I wouldn't be the champion that I, that I am today. Also, one of the most popular sports in Mexico is the soccer, the football. Um, you know that football comes from long ago in Mexico it's like Mexicans have been playing football since since the since the Mayas, since they played with the with the hips, el juego de la cadera, that you need needed to to like kick and hit the ball to to put it like in a circle. And it was a pretty popular game and it is one of the history of Mexico. Yeah, it is. That's interesting to hear. Um well and on the other side we have a. Uh... Samuel, an expert in Mexican military, what do you have to say to us? Morning or good afternoon. I am the expert in the military. And well, to start, I, I want to say that it is an honor to have this, this military in our country. Because when you hear the word military, maybe you only think about guns and fighting and blood. And our military is, is not only like to fight or, or like that, it is more to protect the citizens and if there is like a case of emergency in the country like maybe a, a hurricane or or something like that the military helps the the citizens so the military it is not like something for themselves or or to like i don't know to to feel like like great people they they are like really servers of the citizens in mexico and we appreciate them a lot Okay, well, thank you for your words. Um, it was it was an honor having you guys here. And thank you, Daniel, for you. having the next time. Thank you. Maharashtra, Mumbai. The diversity comes naturally in this third largest state by area and second most populated state of India. Maharashtra can also be called the land of scholars, saints, and actors, as many of the people from Maharashtra have succeeded in the fields mentioned above. Maha means big and Rashtra means nation. Maharashtra is indeed Maha in its size, population and culture. Maharashtra is famous for its unique customs and practices. Delhi is a cosmopolitan city where people are open to embracing new ideas and lifestyle. People from all parts of the country live here. All major festivals of India are celebrated and the unity in diversity is evident in social and cultural gatherings. Goa is a state of warm and happy people. Goa sees a mix of different religions like Christians, Catholics, Muslims and Hindus that live together in consonants. Following their age-old traditions and customs, Goans celebrate all major festivals with fervor without being, bringing any religious barriers within the society. Some attractive spots to visit in Goa are the Mangeshi Temple, the Fontanas and the Baga Beach. Politics of Mexico and India Mexico is organized as a representative, democratic and federal republic. It is politically divided into 32 federative entities, of which 31 are free and sovereign, states in their internal regime, and a federal district where the federal powers reside. The federal government and the state governments are organized by the principle of separation of powers, executive, legislative, and judicial. The politics of India works within the framework of the country's constitution. India is a parliamentary democratic republic in which the president of India is the head of state and the prime minister of India is the head of government. The Indian Armed Forces with the strength of over 1.4 million active personnel are the world's second largest military force and the world's largest volunteer army. It also has the third largest defense budget in the world. Some of this country's most known battles are the Sioux Indian Wars, the Red Cloud War, the Black Hills War, the Wounded Knee Massacre and the Battle of Little Bighorn. India occupies the 14th place in the world ranking of military spending and is the fourth country in total volume of troops in the armed forces, which makes it a conventional military power in Asia. 
India's continued effort in defense spending also includes experimentation in nuclear technology. India carried out its first and only known explosion of nuclear device in 1974 and possibly possesses a few dozen nuclear weapons from the production of fissile materials. Internally, its abundant military and paramilitary troops reveal the will to ensure control of the Union's territory. In India, people follow different religions, but the main religions which have originated from India are Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, and Jainism. In India, more than 19,500 languages and dialects are spoken, but they mainly include Hindi, Arabic, Marathi, and Bengali. India has produced some very famous personalities to the world. Some of them include Mohandas Karabchan Gandhi, who is also called the father of nation, Sachin Tendulkar, known as the god of cricket, Narendra Modi, the current Prime Minister of India, and other people like Mother Teresa and APJ Abdul Kalam. India is also known for its various cuisines and food. Some of them include Pao Bhaji, Pani Puri, Samosa, Dosa and Idli, Thali and Dahi Puri. Indian attire is also very beautiful and famous. Women in India wear salwar kameez, sari or lehenga choli. And men in India wear dhoti and sherwani. People in India celebrate their very vibrant festivals with, with a lot of pomp and show. Some of the festivals include Navratri, Lohri, Raksha Bandhan, Holi, Diwali and Makar Sankranti. Music and dance in India. In dance, Garba from the state of Gujarat and Bhangra from the state of Punjab. For, for music, Bihu Geet from Bihu in Assam and Bihu dance from Assam. Weddings in India. Indian weddings are traditionally multi-day affairs and they involve many ceremonies such as painting of the hands and feet of bride called a mehendi and haldi ki rasam which is for the bride. Lots of flowers or rose petals are thrown for good luck. The weddings include many other traditions. Holidays in India. The national holidays of India include Republic Day, Independence Day and Gandhi Jayanti and other holidays include Guru Purnima, Ram Navmi and Vaisakhi. Golf is a sport in which a stick known as a club is used to hit a tiny ball into a hole. The ball is usually kept on a tee so that the ball can travel far distances. The player with the least amount of strokes required to put the ball in the hole wins. Cricket is a very popular sport in India. It is a game of strategy between two teams. Each team bats and fields. In turn, the batters try to score the runs and fielders try to stop them. In the first inning, the batters bat and the runs they make plus one run is the target score for the team to make in the second inning. The team making the most runs wins. A run is scored when the striking batsmen run from one crease line to the other after hitting the ball. Each team is made of 11 players consisting of batters, bowlers and a wicketkeeper. Sitolia is a local sport that is very famous in the Middle East states of India. It requires a stone tower and a tennis ball. There are two teams made of equal number of persons, which is usually five people. The main motive of the game is to hit the tower of stones made in between of usually 10 levels with a tennis ball. If the tower is broken by one level, the team has to build it up as it was previously and hence get a point and team 2 will try to stop team 1 from building it. India is home to a vast range of climate, topology and environment which has resulted in a boom in the number of species of plants and flowers in India. There are more than 18,000 flowering plants and around 50,000 plant species in the country. One can easily find tropical areas, deserts, rainy areas and mountains in India. There also exists a National Forest Policy Resolution for the maintenance and protection of forests in India. The floral species in India are well protected and preserved. The forest areas in southern islands of Andaman, eastern Himalayas, western Himalayas, Indus Plains and Deccan Ranges have about 3,000 species of plants that are endemic to a forest area. The Zoological Survey of India is responsible for surveying the faunal resources of India. Possessing a tremendous diversity of climate and physical conditions, India has great variety of fauna, numbering 89,451 species, which include Protista, Mollusca, Arthropoda, Amphibia, Mammalia, Reptilia and others. India has good biodiversity and almost every kind of animal species can survive in India without any problem owing to Indian ecosystem. Around 4.4% of amphibians, 6.2% of reptiles, 11.7% of aquatic animals, 12.6% of birds and 7.6% of mammals in the world reside in the Indian areas. India is also home for some of the rarest species of animals in the world. We have good numbers of Bengal tigers. The Asiatic lions are also present in the Gir National Park of Gujarat. 
We also have one-horned rhinos along with leopards, spotted hyenas, jackals, gores, deer species, elephants and hippos. These are only some famous species of Indian fauna. Mexico has different ecosystems rich in flora, forests on plateaus, jungles, volcanoes, deserts, lakes and marine regions. All of them with characteristic and often endemic vegetation. In total, there are more than 25,000 different species of flowers in Mexico, especially orchids. Also noteworthy is the great variety of cacti that exist on Mexican soil. About 4,000 of the 6,000 species of cacti known in the world are found in its territory. Fauna in Mexico The monarch butterfly Commonly known as the monarch butterfly, this species is undoubtedly one of the star invertebrates of Mexico. Their amazing migrations from the United States and Canada to Mexico each year and their colourful orange wings draw the attention of millions of people who visit the amazing biosphere reserve monarch butterfly sanctuary for a closer look. The Quetzal The emblematic Quetzal is one of the most majestic and revered birds in Mexico, as well as in other Central American countries. Despite the admiration shown by local Mexican populations and tribes towards this beautiful bird, today there are more threats that place the Quetzal in danger of extinction. The Golden Eagle It is a bird that has a lot of strength and leadership in some cultures and, in fact, some countries use this bird of prey as a national symbol. For example, in Mexico, the Golden Eagle is the emblematic species of the country and is a symbol on its flag. There are some organizations which are working towards conserving flora and fauna in India and Mexico. Namely, there are People for Animals India, PETA India, Wildlife Trust of India, Worldwide Fund for Nature India, Worldwide Fund for Nature Mexico and Wildlife Without Borders Mexico.